One of the most underrated spacecraft currently in development is the Dream Chaser. Unlike the capsule-based spacecraft dominating the industry today, Dream Chaser takes inspiration from the legendary space shuttle, bringing back the concept of a reusable, runway landing space plane. Once it becomes fully operational, there's no doubt it will pose serious competition to SpaceX and other players in the space industry. But for now, Sierra Space is facing significant challenges in making Dream Chaser a reality. In today's video, we'll dive into these challenges and explore how the company is working to overcome them, from thermal protection systems to reusability concerns. Before we delve any deeper, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on future updates about the latest developments. If you ask me which rocket made the biggest impact on the space industry, it is the Space Shuttle, without a doubt. The Space Shuttle revolutionized space travel by introducing a partially reusable vehicle that could carry astronauts and cargo to space and return to Earth, landing like an airplane. It was a symbol of American space dominance for three decades, from 1981 to 2011. However, despite its remarkable achievements, the shuttle was retired due to its high operational costs, long turnaround times, and safety concerns. When the space shuttle was retired, the United States was left without a domestic spacecraft capable of carrying astronauts to space. This meant that NASA had to rely entirely on Russian rockets to transport astronauts to the International Space Station. This dependence on Russia was a significant issue for the U.S. Each Russian rocket seat cost NASA around $80 million, making spaceflight expensive and limiting American access to space. To solve this problem, NASA launched the Commercial Crew Program, funding private companies to develop new domestic spacecraft. Two major companies received contracts from NASA, SpaceX and Boeing. SpaceX developed the Crew Dragon, while Boeing worked on the Starliner. Despite Boeing receiving a larger portion of NASA's funding, around $4.2 billion compared to SpaceX's $2.6 billion, Starliner faced numerous technical setbacks and delays, making it one of the biggest failures in modern spacecraft development. On the other hand, SpaceX successfully developed the Crew Dragon, which launched astronauts in May 2020 and restored America's independent access to space. However, both Crew Dragon and Starliner were capsule-based spacecraft, unlike the Space Shuttle, which was a winged orbiter capable of runway landings. But then, there is Dream Chaser, a space plane developed by Sierra Space also funded by NASA under the Commercial Resupply Services program. Dream Chaser aims to bring back the benefits of a winged space plane while improving upon the shuttle's shortcomings. Sierra Space is a commercial space company developing the Dream Chaser space plane, a reusable spacecraft designed for cargo and crew transportation. The design of Dream Chaser is inspired by the retired space shuttle, but has been significantly updated to improve performance, reduce costs, and increase safety. Unlike Crew Dragon and Starliner, Dream Chaser can land on conventional runways, making it an ideal option for fast turnaround and reuse. Sierra Space has taken the concept of a reusable space plane and improved upon it to meet modern commercial spaceflight needs. A major challenge for reusable spacecraft is their thermal protection system, which prevents overheating during re-entry. The Space Shuttle's heat shield consisted of thousands of ceramic tiles, which often detached and required extensive maintenance between flights. To improve upon this, Sierra Space developed a more advanced heat shield for Dream Chaser. The new TPS uses room temperature vulcanizing silicone to keep the tiles securely attached to the spacecraft. This material can endure high temperatures and prevents the tiles from falling off. Additionally, Sierra Space increased the tile size from 6 inches by 6 inches to 10 inches by 10 inches, reducing the total number of tiles and minimizing maintenance. One of the most challenging spacecraft in development today is Sierra Space's Dream Chaser. Unlike the capsule-based spacecraft used by companies like SpaceX and Boeing, Dream Chaser is designed as a space plane that can land on a runway, similar to NASA's retired space shuttle. This gives it a major advantage in reusability and fast turnaround between missions. 
However, making such a spacecraft operational has not been easy, and Sierra Space has encountered significant obstacles along the way, particularly in perfecting its heat shield, meeting testing requirements and dealing with delays that have pushed back its first launch. One of the biggest technical hurdles has been the development of a reliable thermal protection system. The space shuttle, which inspired Dream Chaser's design, used thousands of ceramic tiles to protect it from the extreme heat of atmospheric re-entry. While effective, these tiles were fragile, expensive to maintain, and often detached from the spacecraft, requiring extensive repairs between flights. Sierra Space has sought to improve on this by designing a more advanced heat shield that is both more durable and easier to maintain. To prevent the issue of tiles falling off, Dream Chaser's heat shield uses a bonding method involving room temperature vulcanizing silicone, which helps keep the tiles firmly attached to the spacecraft. Additionally, the tiles themselves are larger than those used on the space shuttle, measuring 10 inches by 10 inches instead of 6 inches by 6 inches. This reduces the total number of tiles needed, simplifying maintenance and decreasing the chances of damage. However, even with these improvements, securing a heat shield on a winged spaceplane presents unique challenges. Unlike a capsule, which has a mostly uniform shape and distributes heat more evenly, a spaceplane has curved surfaces that create areas of high thermal stress. Engineers at Sierra Space have been refining the materials and attachment techniques to ensure the tiles remain intact and effective after multiple flights. To further improve the heat shield, Sierra Space has collaborated with Oak Ridge National Laboratory to develop a silicon carbide-based composite material. This material is designed to withstand extreme heat while remaining reusable for up to 15 missions. By combining the strength of carbon fiber with the heat resistance of ceramics, the new material provides a lightweight yet durable solution. Testing at NASA's Arc Jet Complex has simulated the high temperatures and conditions of atmospheric re-entry, and results so far have shown promising durability. Beyond the heat shield, Sierra Space has faced delays in getting Dream Chaser ready for flight. The spacecraft was initially scheduled to launch in 2023, but several setbacks have pushed the first mission to 2025. Part of the delay has been due to manufacturing difficulties, as building a composite frame spaceplane with an advanced heat shield has proven more complex than expected. Additionally, NASA has strict certification requirements for commercial spacecraft, which means extensive testing and modifications have been necessary to meet safety and performance standards. Another factor contributing to the delay is that Dream Chaser must be integrated with the United Launch Alliance Vulcan Centaur rocket, which has had its own development setbacks. Despite these obstacles, progress has been steady. Sierra Space has built multiple prototypes to test different aspects of the spacecraft. The engineering test article has been used for aerodynamic and glide tests, confirming that Dream Chaser can perform smooth runway landings as intended. The first fully operational vehicle, named Tenacity, is currently undergoing final preparations and is set to launch on its maiden mission in early 2025. This mission will be part of NASA's Commercial Resupply Services contract and will deliver cargo to the International Space Station. Dream Chaser will be carrying approximately 3,500 kilograms of cargo and, after completing its mission, will return to Earth by landing on a runway, allowing for quick retrieval of scientific experiments and equipment. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.